This video will explain the controversial Monty Hall problem once and for all. Subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications for more of these types of math puzzle explanations. The Monty Hall problem is a brain teaser loosely based on the American TV game show Let's Make a Deal and named after its host Monty Hall. The problem goes like this. Suppose you're on a game show and you're given the choice of three doors where behind one door is a car and behind the others goats. So you pick a door without opening it and the host opens one of the doors containing goat. The host then asks, do you want to one switch or two stay with the door of your choice? Assuming you like the idea of winning a car more than a goat, which of the two choices will give the higher chance for the better outcome? You may pause the video f here for some time to think about it. You should always switch doors. The chance of winning the car is two-thirds when you switch to the other door, while it's one-third when you stay with your first choice. But how is this possible? There's two doors. Shouldn't the chance of getting a goat or a car be 50%? It's pretty much a coin toss at this point, right? What difference does it make? if the host opens one of the doors that contain a goat? Well, these are all great questions, and this is exactly why the Monty Hall problem is so controversial and tricky. Allow me to explain how the answer came about. First, we have three doors. The chance of picking a door with a car behind it is 1 in 3, and a goat is 2 in 3, since there are two goats, and 1 third plus 1 third is 2 third. Once the host reveals one of the goats, you are left with two doors. So why is it not 50%? The confusion arises when people see two doors and immediately assume there's a 50% chance each door is a goat or a car, irregardless of the host's reveal. The part that most people miss is that your chances of picking correctly before and after the reveal remains the same, one third. Ask yourself, why would your initial choice now increase to one half or 50% because of the reveal? You did not do anything to change the outcome, so there should be no change. However, the game show gives you a chance at redemption by giving you a chance at switching to the only other door and removing the only other outcome. Mathematically, if your chance of claiming the car is one third with one option, then the only other option is two third because the probability that the car is in one of the doors is 100%. One minus one third equals two third. That was my best shot at a logical proof. Still not convinced? Then I have a more convincing proof coming up. Okay, now imagine instead of three doors, there's one million doors, where there's a car and 999,999 goats. You choose a random door. What are the chances you choose a car correctly the first time? It's one in a million. The host then opens all but two doors concealing the car and the last goat. After the reveal, do you still believe switching makes no difference? Switching doors in the 1 million door scenario now gives you a 999,999 out of 1 million chance to win that car, way over 99%. Now going back to the 3 door problem, you initially have a 1 third chance of choosing correctly, and because of the reveal you are now given a choice to choose the option that gives you a 2 third chance of winning. It's just much harder to see in a three-door scenario. With this in mind, switching doors becomes a no-brainer. Thanks for watching. Hope this clears up the Monty Hall problem once and for all. Hit like, subscribe, or comment if you now understand the Monty Hall problem, disagree, or if you just like clicking on random things to warm up your APM.